Hello, Josh Stevens here, Head Geek at SolarWinds, and today I'm here with my good friend Chris LaPointe. Now, Chris is one of our senior product managers, and Chris runs uh, a product for a brand new free tool called the SolarWinds Network and Fit Generator. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Great. How about you, Josh? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm excited about the new free tool. I played with it this morning for a little while. Some really, really cool stuff. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it does and sort of why we developed this tool? Sure. I mean, it, like you said, Josh, this is a really cool new free tool that we have that allows you to... Uh, templatize configuration changes for devices. Okay, so what kind of devices? Uh, well, for instance, actually any kind of devices, but just as an example, uh, one of the change templates that we provide out of the box that ships with the new free tool is configuring NetFlow on a Cisco ASA, which as we all know is pretty you know, a real yeah. pain. Yeah. It's, it's hard to do. And uh, you know there is a standard set of configuration commands that you send with just, uh, just this you know, maybe two or three different variables that you might change each time. Okay. Uh, so why not have a change template that allows uh, really any user to be able to interface with this uh, free tool, click the button, fill in a few variables, and actually generate the configuration. And then from there, you can actually cut and paste that into, you know, one ASA or a thousand ASAs, uh, depending on how you want to do it. Um, the config uh, free tool actually will generate the config for you, and then you can cut and paste it in the CLI. Or you can use a uh, config management tool oh, like, like Orion, NCM, yeah, sure. yeah, like Orion NCM, um, to actually execute the script across you know thousands of ASAs at once if you wanted to. Now, when I used the free tool, I saw that you could modify not only ASAs but really any CLI-based config routers, switches, firewalls, right. any of those types of devices, and it looked like you could even create your own uh, script. Uh, sort of templates, or maybe even download from the from the community side. Yeah, that's exactly right, Josh. You can create your own. Um, the, there's examples out there for you, as I mentioned. Uh -huh. uh, we'll ship with five or six, and then we'll constantly create new change templates. Um, hopefully, you'll help us create some of those as well. Uh, but we'll have those out on FWAC, and the tool is really cool in that it allows you to share, mm -hmm. um, so export change templates and import change templates with just the click of a button. Well, it looked like, you know, for an advanced user like me, it'd be a great tool to save me a lot of time and to be able to really, you know, build some configuration templates and then blast out to lots of devices. But it also seemed that it might be a great tool for a, for a new user or a new network administrator to use or if, they not, if they're not sure of the configuration uh, parameters or the CLI structure to make some basic changes, we provide some of that for them in the strips, isn't that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, there's there's two primary use cases for uh -huh. the config generator, Josh. One of them is uh, the ability to just leverage some standard change templates for common operations, like configuring NetFlow on a Cisco ASA, I see. or enabling an IPSLA, uh, the VoIP operations. Um, and then the other use case is, like you said, you have you know a novice or a junior network engineer who isn't sense. super familiar with all the different commands, and you're just trying to create a simple change template that they can use where they fill in a few variables, um, and they click the Generate button, and it generates the configuration for them in a standard way. Well, I'm very excited about the free tool. Of course, like all SolarWinds free tools, it can be downloaded from SolarWinds.com. Uh, let's go ahead now, and we'll end this video, and then we'll start a new video. You'll want to look at the website, and we'll have videos for how to use the tool for some brief uh, uh, overviews of the tool and how they work, and much more detail about this free tool as well as other ones. So Chris, thanks a lot. I really appreciate your time. All right. Sounds great, Josh. Thank you.